Today we are looking at the Anki Creator Pro camera. Link down below if you want to pick this up. Also, if you find the video useful, a like would be much appreciated and subscribe for more reviews. So before we have a look at the contents inside the box, let's have a look around the box. So on the front here, as you can see, Creator Pro camera, Anki, this camera there, it's the side, it's the back, nothing much there. And here, four megapixel resolution, two-way audio, human detection, night vision, one key alarm, pan and tilt, cloud storage and local storage, and 2.4 to 5 gigahertz. So now, let's have a look inside the box. So this is everything that comes inside the box. We have the camera itself, we have some screws, we have a USB to micro USB cable here, we have a power adapter which is a 3 pin power adapter as I am in the UK, and we do have a camera bracket if you want to fit this onto your roof, and also we do have a quick start guide here, if I just show you through this. So now let's have a look at the camera itself. So as you can see, this is the camera. It does pan to 350 degrees on either side. And the black part here tilts to 60 degrees on both sides too. Here we have the infrared light. We have the four megapixel lens here. If we go up a little bit. As you can see, there's a microphone. We have the reset button and we have the micro SD card there. And on the side, there's a speaker there, and on the back, here's your micro USB input port. So now, we're going to pair the app to the camera. So, if you will need the MyAnki app, which I'll put a picture of the app up on the screen now. You will need this app. It is available on the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. After you've downloaded that, it'll, it's pretty much straightforward. You just have to go through what it tells you to do to pair the camera up. And then once you have fully paired the camera and it is all connected up to the app and the camera is working, you will get the home screen looking like the picture on the screen now. Once that is fully done, then you can use the camera. So now let's go over some of the app features and some of the app settings so let's get to it so on the front page here we have a speaker there which you can hear the audio coming from the opposite end then here we have the day night or if you want it on auto setting so we can change it which i'm just going to leave on auto for now next to that we have uh, the camera quality which is four megapixels right now but we can change it to standard or smooth i do recommend the four megapixel setting Next, we have a full screen button where we can just full screen it. Then we have the recording button, which if you press it, will record any footage. Then next to that, we have a camera icon, which will just take a picture. Next to that, we have a microphone. And then next to the microphone, which can take, which we will give audio to the people on the opposite end. Next to that, we have a bell icon, which will just set, enough, uh, set off an alarm on the camera. Next here we have our different types of storages at the bottom. As you can see right now, it's on cloud storage, which will just be saved onto the camera automatically. Then we have our SD card, which if you have fitted one in, it will save onto the SD card, which you can plug into your computer. And then there you go, all the footage will come up on there. Now if I click the three dots at the top, then press settings, we will get extra settings of the app. As you can see at the top, we have about and device upgrade. And then we have the date and time, which I'm just going to leave normal at the minute. I'm just going to leave it how it is. Then we've got restart, factory reset. We can set a password, device sharing, so we can share this device to other de devices. Uh, we have notifications and recording. We have a record box and a cloud storage, which is our cloud storage and record box, obviously, can be saved on something else. We had Ethernet, Wi Fi, and network check, so we can have it wired, wired connection, or we can have it wirelessly connected. And then we have flip the screen so it can be inverted. We have sound and frequency and it also can be connected by Amazon Alexa. Now I'm going to show you some daytime and nighttime footage. I'll just very quickly mention I have the camera mounted in the utility room so not much light comes in here. 
Also, YouTube further compresses the file so the image quality will be slightly reduced compared to what I'm seeing from my phone. So let us know what you think in the comment section about the image quality. And there you go my friends, that was the Anki Creator Pro camera. Hope this video was helpful to someone, if it was leave a like and subscribe for more reviews. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.